What's up guys, Black Order and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for yet another classic of the 2021 cycling season and today we are heading to the Netherlands for I believe the first time this season and probably one of the only time we're actually going to go to the Netherlands um, as we have the Amstel Gold Race, obviously the opening classic uh, of the uh, Ardennes will have the flesh well on this Wednesday we'll have Liège next Sunday but right now we are in Maastricht for Maastricht Valkenburg although this year is a bit different we are not going to have the 258 kilometers we usually have between those two towns but we're just going to have a massive lap and uh, that lap is going to be repeated quite a substantial amount of times um, due to um, corona regulations I mean at least it's, it's better than not having the race <clears throat> Paris-Roubaix for example um, but without further ado Let's jump in and take a look at the time at the team. Sorry, we shall pick. Now, I have a, a, I literally have a paper right now on my desk which says all the teams I'm picking for each monument or classics. And well, it appears UAE have nice to me because this is actually well, I plan on taking UAE in January. They're bringing Mark Hershey and Matteo Trentin to today's installment of um, the Amstel Gold Race. So we'll be with the uh, 22 year old Swissman, quite controversial in this early season, um, maybe not in the shape we'd seen him um, last year, but he's still very capable and it is representing Switzerland that we will try to win today's Amstel Gold Race with UAE Team Emirates, Mark Hirschi, Matteo Trentin, Nick Elbjerg, Rui Kostra, Jan Polans, Ryan Gibbons and Ivo Oliveira. Here is our 7 man lineup to take on the first Ardennes Classic of the season. It for sure is an interesting parkour. It's also a very interesting race day. Fucking, wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, sure, why not? Everyone except Matteo Trentin has a positive day. It's a plus two for Mark Hirsch, it's a plus two for Evoli Verrett, plus one for Jan Falans, plus two for Gimmins, plus two for Costa, and plus two for Mikael Bjerg. Stupendous. Um, we have a good team. We have a very good team. The only thing um, that I might be somewhat skeptical about is our lack of supporting cast um, for a race such as the Amstel. We've got a decent, like, I mean, there's, there's decent riders, but there's not that main, that main teammate that gives you the edge over a team such as DQT, for example, who's coming here with Julian Lafilippe. We'll take a look at the start list, but we do have Julian Lafilippe, who will have, for example, a Maori van Sevenant. Um, or Matt, um, yeah, Matt Sacotanio. I mean, okay, I expected Cavanaugh to be a tad better. Florence Seneschal, I mean, there's decent supporting cast. Yombo, Yombo is an interesting one because I'm not sure if they're going for Wout Van Aert or for Primoz Roglic. Both riders, in my opinion, have their chance. The question is whether they'll be able to work together. Astana, there's a clear leader, in my opinion, in Jakob Fulsang, uh, but Alessio Lutsenko can be here again as that co teammate I'm talking about. You've got Ineos with Michal Kutkowski, but mainly Thomas Peters, recent winner of the Brabant Pile, ahead of Wout van Aert. So definitely keep an eye out for this man. Tej Benut is there for DSM. We've got Bauke Mollema for Trek Sigafredo. Schachmann for Bora. Bora, very interesting as well, because Schachmann seems to be on the decline since um, his win on Paris Nice. In this team, you've also got Wilco Kellerman, who crashed, I believe, on the opening stage of the Tula Pais Vasco. So I'm not really sure about his fitness. You got Konrad, he's there, but I mean, is he really? And you got Ide Helling. Ide Helling, who has seemed to be potentially like the best rider of Boransgro in this month of April. So he could potentially be looking for something in real life, probably not on PCM, let's be honest. Uh, you got the likes of Michael Woods for Israel's Nation, Matthew Mohoric, and Dylan Tuns for Barrington Service. We know that Dylan Tuns is in shape, we've seen him on the Ronde from London. You've got the likes of Rudy Mollar and mainly David Godu for Groupama FDG, winner of the final stage of the Itzulia. So he also is in shape. Um, and then you've got, like, obviously, Bala, Alejandro Valverde is there. You've got the likes of Greg Van Appermatt, Forage de Desert, could be a parkour that suits him. I don't know. We'll see because we've just done basically one lap of this whole parkour. And as you can see, we're going to have the Cowberg quite a, long, a lot amount of times, except the only lap that doesn't have it is the final one. You're going to have about 20 kilometers of relatively slow hills. So I'm not exactly sure how everything will pan out. Maybe we'll get, you'll have some riders coming back in the first group. Maybe we're just going to have like a five-man group after the final Cowberg and no one's going to be able to come back. I don't know. 
So I guess there's, there's, I mean, there's only one way to find out, and that's to play this race. So 192 kilometers remaining. We've got an 11 man breakaway. I'll take a look quickly. Carlos Verona, Christoph Nope. I'm not going to make the same joke I did on Paroubet and on the Rondo. Don't worry. Sylvain Moniquet, Thomas Sprengus, Fernando Barcelo, Christopher Juliensen, Jan Bakelans, uh, Anders Karset for Unox, Dimitri Strakov, Ben Solit, and Zander Arme. I'm going to be very honest because all of this is like one lap uh, being just done again and again and again and again and again. This is really not interesting to commentate and just to watch. Um, hopefully the race in real life will be a bit more interesting. But this, right now, clapped. I can't lie, clapped. Right, uh, we're approaching the penultimate cowbug. We are losing quite a substantial amount of energy. I'm having to, um, to go at a very, very high rhythm just to uh, be able to stick with the, um, with the front of the group. As soon as we reach the cowbug, the peloton just goes a bit mental, I can't lie. Um, so we'll have to see how everything uh, goes on that end. But um, yeah, as I was saying earlier, it's not exactly thrilling to watch or to play. Sure, in real life, you can have like a bit of a madness here and there. But I mean, right now, it's a bit shit. I can't lie. It's just a bit shit. 70 riders left in the first peloton, and we're approaching the final cowbug. Alright, make that 57 then. Uh, Matteo Trentino will try and follow Mark Hirschi. Where's Ricochta? Ricochta is right here, able to protect our Swiss man as soon as needed. Come on. This is an odd scenario, because 56 riders, that means you can still have a very fair share amount of sprinters in this first group. And I'm not sure that's really something I'm, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm looking for. So I'm going to accelerate, actually, with Ricochta, I think. Uh, let's get Ricochta on 99. And let's get Mark Hirsch in the wheel. There we go. All right. I was also expecting Kutkowski and, and Roglic to potentially accelerate. So I figured going with Ricochta probably is also a decent shout. At least I'm not going to get like surprised or, or anything by a, by a sudden acceleration. Mark Hirsch can once again uh, take uh, the actual lead protection for Ricochta. 44 riders in this first group. We've uh, said goodbye to Sergio Higuita. Interesting. Sergio Higuita will not be winning. I mean, he could have been a favorite for, for some people. All right, 12k to go. Is that an attack by Jasper Stoven? I thought it was. Uh, it is an acceleration, though, by Alex Arambourg, that's for sure. It is. It is an attack by Jasper Stoven. It is an attack by Jasper Stoven. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, technically, I should pace with Costa, right? Technically, I should pace with Costa. Uh, here, she can slow down a tad. Not too much, though, for sure. 9k to go. Trentin is basically uh, dead. Okay, so I can't really count on him. Uh, I'll accelerate just a bit with Mark, making sure that I can stay with the first group. Acceleration, Alex Arambourg again. Fulsang is in a very decent position. Thomas Pitcock going for a move. Here she is badly positioned. Thomas Pitcock is gone. Stoven, Fulsang, Von Aert, Michael Matthews trying to bridge with the, um, the Brit. We'll follow David Godu. Hopefully we can take the will of the Frenchie. Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're, we, we, we've choked big times. We've choked big times. I'm, oh, wow, what an L. What an L for me, but what a dub it seems that it's going to be for Will Van Aert. He's got a 16 second lead. 3k to go. Pitcock, Matthew Stoven behind. Fulston got dropped by Daleko Group. Mark Hirschi is leading the chase behind, but I mean, let's be realistic, we're not coming back. 1.4k for Will Van Aert. The Belgian, who suffered a massive L on the uh, Belgian Classics. Sure, I mean, he won the game, but that's not really a race, innit? Will Van Aert wins. Amsel Gold Race ahead of Jasper Stoven, Michael Matthews, I've, no, no, not Michael Matthews, Maxi Schachmann actually, Valverde, Warren Barguil, Mark Hirsch in sixth place, Tim Wellens, Matthews, Pitcock, Alaphilippe, Mohoric, Gogol, Roglic, Wood van Avermaet, Lorenzo Rota in 16th place, Big Ops, Intermarché, Wanty. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I choked big times. I should have done better. Yeah, it's an L. It's an L for me. Uh, th th there's no other way around it. it it's, it's a massive L for me. Uh, but it's a very nice win for Van Aert and Team Jumbo Visma. I got really surprised by that move um, from Stoven. I actually didn't think that would be the move. I also expected the roads to like be less narrow, if it makes sense, um, for like the, 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 the following 5-6 kilometers. And I mean, they, they didn't. They were just narrow enough um, so that, that would prevent me from like 
doing well. Uh, I tried to follow the rhythm, but I didn't try to follow the attacks. Uh, and that was where I made my mistake, because I've never been able to use the energy I had. Uh, I, I end up with red and yellow, which is net something you should do on the Amstel. You should end the race with, like, no energy whatsoever. But yeah, I, I guess I choked. It happens! But anyways, uh, I do hope you've enjoyed this short Amstel Gold race. Um, for those who aren't aware, I'm streaming right now on Twitch. I mean, not right now, at the moment I'm uploading this. But this week, uh, I will be streaming as the uh, PCM World Cup Season 2 is underway. Uh, I'll be streaming, I think, tomorrow or in two days. I'm not sure there's not been the draw yet. Um, but yeah, I will be streaming over on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash blackwall. If you guys want to... Um, want to say hello you can uh and in the meantime i do hope you've enjoyed this video as i said if you didn't please do leave a like down below if you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content then please feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already but my name is guillaume i have been blackpool have a wonderful day and goodbye pull up pull up in the gold i'm bleeding what am all the money feeding i don't want to go bombay them i don't know what i do when i go from bleeding in the pack in black and I'm on with the bad Snapping with a phone and dab I'll stop him out with the duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster